hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install the latest version of kali linux which is currently version 2024.2 on virtualbox now for those who don't know virtualbox virtualbox is a software that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer now the first thing we're going to do is head to our browser and then search for virtualbox now click on the first link that heads to oracle vm virtualbox and then by the left you should see downloads click on downloads and then download virtualbox for windows since we are using the windows pc after downloading virtualbox you also have to download virtualbox extension pack so click on all supported platforms under virtualbox oracle vm virtualbox extension pack so we're going to click on all supported platforms and it should download now after downloading virtualbox and virtualbox extension pack we can open a new tab and then head to kali.org. Now let's click on the download button right here. So there are two ways we can install Kali Linux. We can either install it using the installer image or using the virtual machines. Now if we install it using the installer image, we can customize Kali Linux exactly the way we want. But if we just want Kali Linux to be up and running as fast as possible, then we can use virtual machines. Once we download this, we can run it immediately without having to configure it from scratch. But if you want to set this from scratch, then I would recommend you use the installer image. Now I'm going to show both methods in this video, but first we're going to start with virtual machines. So I'm going to click on virtual machines and then we can select Kali Linux for VirtualBox since that is what we're using. So click on VirtualBox 64 and it should start downloading. The file size is around 3 gigabytes. Now, after downloading VirtualBox and Kali Linux, we can close our browser and then open our download folder. So, here we go. This is VirtualBox extension pack. This is VirtualBox and this is our Kali Linux virtual machine image. Now, first, let's install VirtualBox by double clicking on it. Next. Next yes proceed and then install and then click on finish now after installing virtualbox click on this tab icon right here and then go to extensions now click on install and then we're going to head to our download folder and select our virtualbox extension pack which we downloaded earlier open now click on install scroll down and click on i agree to the terms and it should install now installing virtualbox extension pack enables us have access to more features that we wouldn't have access to by default now let's head back to the welcome page so now we can head back to our download folder and then extract our kali linux virtual machine image so let's extract files now let's open our extracted folder open and you should see two files here we can see virtualbox machine definition file and we can also see the virtualbox disk image file now let's run the virtualbox machine definition file which is the file with three kilobytes of size so let's double click on it and it should automatically add the machine to virtualbox and before we start the machine we have to make few changes so select the machine right here and then click on settings now go to system your base memory is your ram which you can increase to whatever you want i have 16 gigs on my pc so i'm going to give it around 4 gigabytes that should be fine for the processor i am running with four cores eight threads now to check hold control shift escape key and it should open task manager on the task manager you can click on performance and then select your cpu and then you can see your cpu has four cores and eight threads so you can select between one to eight since i have eight i'm gonna give it three now you shouldn't allocate more than 40 percent of your pc resources to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host computer now go to display and then make sure the video memory is set to 128 megabytes also enable 3d acceleration click on ok now we can click on start to start our machine.
so that's how easy it is you can see we are now on the login screen the default username is kali and um, the default password is kali as well now we can click on login and it should be running this is really easy and it shouldn't even take you up to five minutes now that is because we are using the virtual machine instead of installing it from scratch and now you can see everything works you can see all kali linux tools they're all working if you go to about you can see my cpu correctly showing and the memory we allocated around 3.8 gigabytes so that is how to install kali linux using the pre-built virtual machine image now we're also going to go with the second method to install kali linux which is using the installer image installing it from scratch and then allocating the disk and every other thing manually by yourself so let's close this power off now let's head back to our browser now this time instead of us downloading kali linux image for virtual machines we're going to download the installer image so click on installer images and you should get the option to download kali linux installer and you can see this is a 64-bit version so i'm just going to click on it and um, it should start downloading the file size is around 4 gigabytes now after downloading you can close your browser and then open your download folder so this is the file we just downloaded kali linux 2022.2 installer amd64 so now let's open virtualbox and then create a new virtual machine by clicking on new let's call this machine kali linux 24.2 and then set the folder where you want this machine to be running from now in my case i'm gonna use another drive since i don't have enough storage in my c drive you can see my c drive has just 16 gig but i have more storage in my backup drive so let's just use the backup drive here order so i'm gonna set it to my backup drive maybe i can create a new folder and call it vm select folder now if you have enough storage in your c drive then you don't really have to do this now set the type to linux and then set the version to linux 2.6 slash 3x 4x 5x 64 bits and then next the base memory right here is your ram which you can set to whatever you want i have 16 gigs of ram on my pc so i'm going to give it around 5 gigabytes and for the processor i'm going to give it three cores since i can run up to eight now you shouldn't allocate more than 40% of your resources to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host computer. Now click on next and then create a virtual hard disk. Now we're going to set the size of um, the hard disk that's going to be allocated to our virtual machine. So I'm going to give it around 40 gigabytes. I think that should be fine to run Kali. You can say whatever you want and then next and make sure to confirm everything here and then click on finish. Now after creating this machine we have to make few changes by clicking on settings and then go to system now take note this is your base memory which is your ram you can increase or reduce whenever you want same with the processor as well now go to display and then increase the video memory to 128 megabytes also enable 3d acceleration next we go to storage and then under controller ide you can see an empty disk icon right here click on this empty disk and by the right click on the disk icon and then choose a disk file now locate your download folder and then select our kali linux installer image we just downloaded click on open and then click on ok now we can click on start to begin the actual installation so let's click on start now we're going with graphical install so we can see what we're working with so just hit enter all right first we're going to select a language for the installation and then continue next you select your country and region continue next select your keyboard layout continue now set a host name you can leave it as kali unless you have anything else you want to put there continue domain name leave it empty continue enter a full name for this user i'm just going to call it everything tech continue enter a username 
let's call it tema continue choose a password continue now select your time zone and then continue now we're going to go with guided use entire disk so this is going to partition the allocated disk automatically and then install kali linux we don't have to do anything so just select that and then continue and you can see this is the 43 gigabytes we allocated earlier so just continue all files in one partition yes continue finish partitioning and write changes to disk continue select yes to allow write changes to the disk continue and it should install the base system after that we should meet the prompt where we select the desktop environment we want and then you should begin installing kali linux it should take some time but you just have to wait now select the desktop environment you want by default it is set to xface which is fine you could select gnome or kd plasma whichever you prefer but i'm just gonna go with xface and then continue and the installation is complete now select yes to install grub bootloader and then continue select the location right here and then continue and it should install grub bootloader and the installation is complete now let's click on continue and it should reboot and now we can log in with our username and password so basically this is how to install kali linux version 2024.2 on virtualbox using the pre-built virtual machine and the installer image now you can decide to use whichever you prefer if you want to set up kali linux as fast as possible then i would recommend using kali linux pre-built virtual machine but if you want to manually set up everything the way you want then I would recommend you use the installer image so you can set the disk size and then customize everything else. So from here, everything should work properly as it should. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.